everybody. Welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. And I'm Kevin. And today's video is going to be a learning on location. So we recently had the pleasure of going to the Crayola experience and we attended the location in Orlando, Florida and we had a blast. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Without a doubt. It was the best. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're each going to tell you our favorite part and then share some clips from our trip and hopefully you can go too. So Emily, you want to start? What was your favorite part of the trip? My favorite part of the trip was the drip art. It was so cool because you put a crayon in and it like melted it and put it all over the little plate and you got to speed it up or slow it down. And you did a lot of that. Up and down, up <laughs> yes. and down. Up yes, and you down. did. <laughs> My favorite was the rocking paper. Oh that was yeah, great. that's like my second favorite because I I really liked where my things went woo and dance. Yeah, basically they color these uh, two portions of a character or whatever. They put them together and then they put them on a stage and with I guess the vibrations of everything, the things are jumping up and down. Is it was a trip. It was, it was amazing. Cool. It was really cool. And what were the two things you did? You colored two different things. What did you color? The only two they had was a frog and a pterodactyl, and I colored both. But the cool thing about my pterodactyl was it was different on both sides. <laughs> and on my frog, I made a tree frog. While I loved all of the Crayola experience, there were so many different ways for them to be creative and you know bring your creations to life. I think the thing I found the most interesting was the factory show where you actually got to watch them make crayons from start to finish and then learn more about the oh, making. Oh yeah, and the smell. Yeah, it, it smelled. <laughs> it was definitely crayons. <laughs> it did. It like brings you back to your childhood. Yeah, Crayola no has a very distinctive smell. <laughs> no doubt. And the cool thing was at the end and we went to the gift shop, I got to get a ton of big, like a giant tub of crayons, which was the cool Yeah, that thing. was pretty cool. They have yeah. different size containers and they have a wall of crayons. And, and I mean you can like wall. pick your favorite. And she just kept going back and forth, just kept layering them in until she filled up her whole container with some pretty cool crayons. Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Megan and I'm a crayonologist from the Crayola Crayon Factory all the way in Easton, Pennsylvania. Right here in the USA, we make the crayons that are used all over the world. Our factory makes two and a half billion crayons every year. You would line up each of those crayons from end to end, they would circle the world almost six times. This type of equipment dates all the way back to the early 1900s, and Crayola still uses some of these machines in their factory today a non-toxic paraffin wax mixed with a high quality clay and lots of different colors called pigments. So we have red pigments. What color crayons are we going to make? Red. red crayons. That's right. When Crayola crayons were first being made, workers like me would have to scrape all that goofy wax off about half. But now we have these handy machines that will do it for us. Great, 
observation, Scarlet. The sharpened tip of a Crayola crayon is made that way in the molding table. Now I want you guys to get a closer look at these new boards, so I'm going to bring them around the room. Aren't they so cute? They're just starting to open their little eyes. Oh, that one just yawned. So precious. And then we get to do some coloring. You do? Of course. That's how we make sure that these crayons don't just look perfect. We test their strength and their colors too. Our new crayons are here in the hopper. This bin holds all of the labels. Did you know, even though we make over 200 different colors of Crayola crayons, we only use 13 different colors for all those labels. So we use a special kind of non-toxic glue that's made out of cornstarch and water. And when I start this machine, the drum is gonna turn and get covered in a sticky glue. Then the crayons can be guided down the chute and loaded onto the molded wheel. So they come out like this. This is the packaging machine! We put together four crayons in one box. These dispensers are filled with the new crayons. The crayon will go onto the little wheel, turn around the wheel, look out below, and drop onto the belt with the others. So this part of the machine will take that box out and open it up. By that plunger is going to push those crayons into the bottom of the box. The machine would then close the flaps on the box until, ta-da, they're all safe and sound inside. Oh, what about when you made the crayons yourself and, and named them? I thought oh. that was pretty cool too. Oh yeah, that was really cool. And my pink one was named um, Emily Pinkalicious, and I put like <laughs> a little s crown or star on my thing because you can like put a little icon or you don't have to. But I think I put a star on that one. So, would you recommend it? Would you tell a friend to go? Totally. Yes, I 10 would. 10 out of 10. If there was 100, 100 out of 100. Yeah, I think it was pretty cool, especially if you have a creative kiddo, because they have the uh, drip art, the melt and mold, they have the model magic, and all of this, for the most part, is included, because when you go in, you get a certificate and some coins, and that's part of your admission. So, you get all of that with admission. If you want more, you can obviously purchase more coins to do more, but you get all of it as part of just your standard admission. And it really is a ton of creative outlets for kids. And they really have just some phenomenal ways to bring your art to life. And I got to say it was pretty great. Um, you got to walk through and experience everything about crayons, but they also had a play place. They gave the kids somewhere to expend some of that energy, that built up energy that they've had. They have snacks and drinks on site so you can pick out pretzels or whatever. And then I guess the last thing I would say, coming from an artist standpoint, remember there's a quote that they say in the manufacturing portion when you go sit in there that says that crayons are um, basically ran on brain power, not batteries. It's really cool. Let your kids play. Crayons don't hurt anything. And they're made of stuff that's not going to hurt them. So let them color, color, color. It'll build that, that ability and give them an outlet for their art.
two thumbs up.